So if you own an 06 to 18 Ram 1500 and you're looking for one of the more affordable, fully boxed and welded control arm upgrades, maybe you want to put a big lift on your truck or you just want to put your suspension through some off-road abuse and you want to make sure that suspension can handle it, then you should be checking out Zone Off-Road's heavy duty upper control arm. At around the $500 price point, again, this is one of the most affordable options by a couple hundred bucks, but it's still a massive upgrade. What I really like about this control arm is how well built it is. It's made out of eighth inch thick plate steel, again, all welded as one piece and the factory style rubber bushings are fully enclosed. You're also getting a massively upgraded ball joint with a nice grease fitting on there. So if you put your truck through a lot of articulation, you can make sure that ball joint has a lifespan. Other thing that I really like about this control arm is Zone says it allows you to install up to a four inch to six inch suspension lift. With the factory control arm, the ball joint simply can't handle that amount of suspension travel. However, this one is specifically designed to do so. So if you want to install a lift that high and you want to do it right, this would be an excellent choice. This is also a very easy install. I'd give it two out of three wrenches on my difficulty meter. It is a bolt-on job. You are working with a primary suspension component, so you still want to take your time. You're going to need a couple of specialty tools like a torque wrench, but besides that, it's pretty straightforward. So again, if you're looking for one of the most affordable control arm upgrades, go ahead and stick around. I'm actually going to show you guys how to get this job done step by step. To install your new control arm on your Ram, you will need the following tools. Standard drive ratchet, an 18 millimeter socket, needle nose pliers, a hammer, and a 21 millimeter socket, as well as a torque wrench. Optional but helpful tools include a swivel socket, an impact 18 millimeter, a cordless impact, some spray lubricant, and a breaker bar. So first things first, obviously you want to get your truck off the ground so you can take the load off your suspension. Then you want to support your steering knuckle. That's very important. You don't want that thing to drop down when we actually remove this. Now, once you got everything supported like I do, you might have a cotter pin inside the nut on the upper ball joint. If that's the case, we just got to remove that with a pair of needle nose pliers. All right, once you got that cotter pin removed, you can pop the nut off of the ball joint the nut's a little bit stuck on there most likely, so you might have to hit it with some spray lubricant or a little bit of heat. It's obviously helpful to have a big old breaker bar. At any rate, you'll need an 18 millimeter socket to loosen this guy and remove it. All right, now that we have the nut removed from the ball joint, we can actually pop it free from the knuckle. You're gonna need your high-speed ball joint removal tool as the instructions refer to. You're gonna smack the top of the knuckle and that should pop it loose. Now this is under load actually. The bushings themselves have a little bit of spring to them. So the upper control arm is gonna to wanna to fly out of there. It's a good practice to actually thread the nut back on the bottom of the stud a little bit. That'll keep everything in place. And once you've done this, you can go ahead and slowly remove the nut. You can slowly let the upper control arm fall out of the knuckle. All right, now that our ball joint is free of the knuckle, we can actually remove the control arm itself. In order to do that, you have to pull the two bolts on either side of the control arm bushings. You need an 18 millimeter socket, and again, it's helpful to have that breaker bar while you're at it. Now, in the case of our control arm, we don't have the bracket up here, but there is a bracket for this little line right here. So you wanna make sure you pop that line free as well. In the case of ours, it's just zip tied, so I'm just gonna go ahead and remove that now too. All right, so now that our factory control arm is removed, we can install our new control arm. It's the same exact steps in reverse order. So you wanna get the stud of the ball joint seated in the top of the knuckle, and then you're gonna throw those bolts and flag nuts in place. Now you wanna tighten those down just enough to keep the control arm in place, but you don't wanna tighten them down to torque spec. If you do it this angle, then you could actually rip the bushings inside, so we're gonna tackle that later once we actually get some suspension under load on here. All right, once you got the upper control arm seated with the bolt and flag nuts, you can actually install the nut for the ball joint itself. To tighten this one down, you're gonna need a larger 21 millimeter socket 
We can actually torque this to spec. This one's not gonna matter when we tighten this down all the way because the ball joint will rotate as the suspension goes under load. So you're gonna wanna torque this down to 70 pound feet and then you can install the cotter pin that's included with the new control arm. All right, now that we have our ball joint torque to spec, we're gonna lower our truck, we're gonna put our suspension under load using a floor jack. We want our control arm at the right height that it's gonna sit with the wheel on there. And then we're gonna torque those last two bolts to spec. Obviously, you're gonna need your torque wrench for this one. You're gonna torque those two down to 120 pound-feet. So once you got those two bolts torqued to spec, that'll actually wrap up our install. That also wraps up my review of Zone Off-Road's HD Upper Control Arms, fitting your 06 to 18 Ram 1500. I'm Travis, thanks for watching. For all things Ram, keep it right here at americantrucks.com.